Well, the grant application is due tonight. Let's see what the grad students have done in terms of revisions. That's not right. Last revision was done two and a half weeks ago. My god. What do these people think? I'm made out of K grants or something? We better find out what they've been up to this time. You guys, how are we doing in the wet lab data? Are you even planning on defending this year? Have any of you managed to grade an assignment today? You submitted tweets to Journal Club? So now that you've defended, your plan is to drink beer and play Hearthstone? It isn't just hardworking synthetic biologists feeling a pinch. Professors and administrators have noticed too. I wish those students would get some work. Seems to be a problem with their motivation. They're so lazy, how do we motivate them? The answer comes from an unlikely source. From the chuckleheads who brought you Leap Legends comes PCR Hero, a synthetic biology badge management software with exciting features like registration, logins with super secure password hashing that even the NSA doesn't want you to know about, startup profile screens that inspire your users to think about all the sweet badges they're going to earn, show off all the sweet badges you've already awarded to yourself. Upload custom badge images that you hopefully have the copyrights to. Create your own badges to take somebody from a no badge loser into the first author of a publication in a major journal. Create custom tasks so to earn a badge your underlings need to complete any task you set forward for them including the ferocious time trial. Give them all the time they need in the off season. Then, when the grant application comes, turn up the heat with an impossible task. Three minutes to create a hundred improved variants on the Laxi Operon. Good luck, buddy. What's that? Another manuscript draft? You can definitely have another badge. Man, with these things, it's like they're eating out of my hand, almost. So how does it all work? I'm glad you asked. At their most basic level, badges are a means of providing external motivation for completing tasks. This can be used for both learners who are having trouble meeting standards and for learners who need to be challenged. Badges are a fun means of providing positive encouragement and motivation to learners, as well as fostering healthy competition. Gamification can be a controversial topic for some, however, there have been a number of good studies which have demonstrated that specifically badges and experience points can be a strong motivator. Within experimental biology itself, there has been at least one study demonstrating a significant boost in terms of students' ability to pay attention and retain material, but perhaps the more interesting use has been through games specifically designed to make synthetic biology tasks much more like games. PCR Hero adheres to Mozilla's Open Badges standard. This is a convenient file format that provides validation of badge credentials and leads to secure interchange of badges from one site to another. So a synthetic biology application such as Cello sends the results of a query to the main server which is instantiated in server.py. The server then logs important details about the nature of the application call that it was given and stores certain aspects of these in different collections within the database. The web front end of the server is managed by Bottle, which is a micro framework. What it does is it reroutes HTTP requests to template pages, which are then displayed in accordance with the internal logic of the server and data that's obtained from the database. In an earlier version, there was a separation between the application calls to the system and the user calls. Applications were handled by a multi-threaded socket program, which was needed to exchange multiple fields of badge information back and forth. However, using Bottle has allowed us to switch to one common interface for all calls to the server. As a result, we're more closely fitting to the model view controller standard design pattern. 
what this allows us to do is when we do need to add additional applications that may have additional types of badges, additional tasks to earn those badges, we can simply extend the existing control logic without affecting any other element of the system. Maintaining easy extensibility of similar function calls is extremely important because we don't know what the synthetic biology applications of the future are going to look like. Tasks, namely what a user has to do in order to earn a badge, are at the heart of how PCR Hero actually works. They're an extensible class that has initiation, output, and assignment arguments, which can be customized to receive different payloads from calls to the application. They also contain internal logic which is updated whenever there's a matching query. To illustrate how the API calls work, here's an example of Cello having completed a job on behalf of Prashant with the score corresponding to his new circuit submission to Cello. This could just as easily be a call from work Prashant is doing in Double Dutch, where he has a certain metabolic pathway that has a yield and cost associated with it, as well as other information that may be very specific to Double Dutch or that particular run. So long as the user and application are maintained as part of the tuple, the application has upheld its side of the contract. So when the data arrives, it's handled by the appropriate function in the control library, which then sends it to the database. The database identifies any tasks that have these same unique identifiers, that is, any tasks that correspond to, in this case, cello circuits featuring lag Z. It then basically sends a broadcast of that information and the score to wake up those tasks, and the tasks themselves handle their response to the new information. Scoring or percentage improvement tasks can check if this circuit's score is a significant enough improvement on the last submission to merit awarding the badge. Repetitive task badges can use this as an opportunity to increment their counter and to check if the score has been met. Similarly, time trials badges use this step both to increment scores, check scores, and to see if their time is finally up. If so, they remove themselves seamlessly. Thanks to this miniature instance of the model view control design pattern, administrators don't have to do anything to maintain tasks once they've been assigned. For use outside of the PCR Hero website, badges can be baked, that is, put into official open badges metadata containing format by a function that calls the open badges API. So wait a sec, this is being released open source under the MIT license? I can like just fork it on GitHub? Man, maybe I better just throw some bones to the Nona Foundation and ask my students, do you have what it takes for science?